Hello, it is Wednesday, August 4th, 2021. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to my New York Times crossword daily solve. It is a Wednesday. It is a Wednesday puzzle, so we are in our midweek. This is the early midweek difficulty, I would say, as compared to Thursday, the late midweek difficulty. What is this What is this taxonomy I'm describing? I don't know. There were a couple of comments I wanted to address before we get going with today's solve. And the first is from EJ52, who asks, did you change your recording equipment when you got back from your trip to Oxford? The audio sounds a lot tinnier the past two days. Well, <laughs> this comment made me do a comparison between be, between my pre- and post-holiday audio, and indeed it did get much tinnier. And I investigated this and realized that once I had plugged everything back in uh, here, um, I had not properly chosen the audio device that was being used as a microphone. So the default webcam microphone was being used rather than my standalone microphone. And uh, therefore, I was not getting the nicer audio quality from the nicer microphone. So uh, I, am, I am indebted to EJ52 for pointing this out. I'm sure I would have noticed it eventually, but possibly not yet today. So thank you for that. And then uh, Andrew Wilson provides some context for one of the answers yesterday, MRE, which stands for meal ready to eat. He says this distinguishes it from the A ration, a pre-prepared meal from fresh or frozen food, better known to civilians as a box lunch, a UGR, a unitized group ration, a prepackaged preser preserved meal for a full squad, which can be prepared without a field kitchen but does require a heat source. MCW, meal, cold weather, and the FSR, first strike ration. And then he goes into a great deal of additional detail about calorie counts and functions of these things. And if you're interested in, um, in finding out all kinds of information about uh, military packaged meals, you can find Andrew Wilson's comment on, the, on yesterday's solve, August 3rd. Um, so yes, I recognized MRE as some kind of military food thing, but I did not know it stood for meal ready to eat. And I certainly didn't know there's a whole panoply of these things with different acronyms and slightly different functions. So as always, uh, learning something new from the crossword. And perhaps we will learn something new from today's crossword by Brandon Copy, edited as always by Will Shorts. There's no title on this uh, puzzle. But that doesn't mean it doesn't have a, a theme. We'll have to see. Ready to get started? I think I am. Okay. Blank alphabet. Um, it could be the it could be the NATO alphabet, the um, Alpha, Bravo, etc., um, which I erroneously began by saying Alpha Beta on a recent puzzle, and someone in the comments corrected me. Uh, the B is Bravo, not Beta. Anyway, that's the NATO alphabet, and it could be that. I don't know if it. I, I don't know if it is, but let's just try. Full Metal Jacket setting in brief. Um, well, that was set during the Vietnam War, colloquially known as Nam. So, NATO may be correct. And there you've got um, a sort of um, military, I suppose, tie-in. NATO being a defense treaty organization. Okay. Surprise for a statistician. Well, when, when you have sort of a blip in the data, that's an anomaly. Funky cold Medina wrapper. Uh, I'm not going to know this offhand, so I'm, I apologize to probably the many people watching who do. Mystery writer with a question mark. Mystery writer. I'm not sure offhand. Classic song that starts. Oh, whoops, I spelled anomaly wrong. Um, is this correct or is this an A? Uh, sorry, I'm having. Uh, maybe it's this. Let's just leave that out for now so I don't mislead myself. Anyway, classic song that starts I was working in the lab late one night. 
2003, 1970. So the inclusion of these years, and I see these years in other clues, leads me to believe there will be some kind of theme. And my first thought when I saw this was Weird Science by Oingo Boingo, but after thinking about it for another second, I am quite confident it is The Monster Mash um, by I don't know whom. Uh, I don't know who wrote or recorded The Monster Mash, but I do know it starts with something like, I was working in the lab late one night, something like that. The Rams scored none of these in the 19 Super Bowl, and the Chiefs none in 21. Well, despite my paucity of sports knowledge, I am reasonably sure that this would be TDs for touchdowns, which actually came up, I believe, in a recent puzzle as well. Viking beverage. This came up in a recent puzzle, not with not with this clue, but with a totally different clue. But that's mead, which I suppose is sort of a what is it a honey based precursor to beer? I think uh, if something is in the bargain bin, it is on sale. Oh, I see. Mystery writer. Ah, very clever. Mystery writer is anon for anonymous. The the writer of the work in question is a mystery. Ah, funky cold Medina rapper. This is Tone Loke, right? Sorry, I thought it might be, but I wasn't very confident. Uh, Gotham initials, NYC, New York City. Um, Gotham being a common, uh, well, I guess maybe less common now, but a traditionally common nickname for New York City, which was um, obviously, I would say these days, Gotham better known as the name of Batman's residence city. Hometown, I suppose. Uh, blank Vera, uh, aloe vera, um, medicinal plant. Sickly looking um, wan, if you're sort of pale, almost ashen. Start of the depression, and depression is capitalized. Um, so this is referring to the Great Depression. It's Okay, so what do these years mean? Because this is considerably later than the Great Depression. And the Monster Mash, that song... Would night? It says this says 2003-1970. Would oh, I see what this is. I see what this is. Um, so the theme. See if you can get this. Maybe I'll maybe I'll wait to say what it is for, a, for until, until we've gotten a little bit farther. So that uh, you you may have already gotten it, but in case you didn't, maybe think about it a bit more. So start of the depression would have been the Wall Street Street crash. Uh, the event that triggered the start of the Depression. Uh, mattress size, well, a small mattress would be a twin mattress. Big break. Well, with four letters and an R, this could be a rift, a rift between two people. Let's just put it in and see. 58 across. Excuse me. Fifty-eight across between Lou and Bess. Uh, I'm not sure. Bequeaths. Um, well, if you bequeath uh, something to somebody, you you will it to them. You put it in your will, so it will be granted to them after your death. Uh, goes back to square one. Resets. Alon, who wrote "City of the Beasts," is this Isabel? Let's look at the crosses. Popular New Orleans dessert. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. Beignet, beignet, B-E-I-G-N-E-T. I think it's sort of a, it's like a donut. I think a sort of spherical donut kind of thing. I, I believe. Uh, tennis feet. Not sure offhand. Nikon D three five hundred, e.g. Well, that looks like a camera because it's manufactured by Nikon. Let's assume it's an SLR, single lens reflex camera. <clears throat> Certain lapdog informally. Um, this comes up a fair amount in the New York Times crossword. Often it will be clued with something about a toy, in this case meaning a toy dog, um, the category of breed, and it is a palm, a Pomeranian. Uh, this does look like Isabelle Alland. Uh, dream big, so if you dream big, you aspire. Uh, tennis feet. I aspire to uh, much smoother solves on Saturday than I've been having recently. 
a tennis feat, uh, so an ace, when you um, serve a tennis ball and the opponent is unable to return it. Place to hide in hide and seek. Well, you may well hide in a closet. And then a moral code is an ethic, which makes sense. Isabel Alonde there. Everything else was already filled. X seniors. This is related to a clue we had yesterday. This would be grads, graduates, no longer seen members of the senior class. They have graduated and they are grads. Works of Picasso y Goya. So this is in Spanish. Um, and I'm not confident about what that's going to be. So let's look around. Alma mater for Martha Stewart and Joan Rivers. I don't know. Let's let's keep looking. Hurdles for many honor students in brief. Well, uh, students and it's hurdles. So let's assume it ends in tests. Uh, that seems pretty likely to me. Highway. Well, a highway is a route, and we see that it's abbreviated um, because it's H W Y with a with a period or a full stop. So that is route. R T E. Something most babies do at around six months. Well, they teethe, don't they? I wouldn't have necessarily known that was around six months being without children myself, but that sounds plausible. So works of Picasso y Goya, could this simply be art? Spanish. <clears throat> Donkey Kong, for one. Um, Donkey Kong famously is an ape from the Donkey Kong arcade cabinet in the 1980s and many games since then. Hurdles for many honor students in brief. This would be AP tests, advanced placement tests. Alma mater for Martha Stewart and Joan Rivers. Um, could it be Barnard? A school with which I'm familiar. Did, did Indiana Jones fictionally teach at Barnard College? Blank signal. Ah, bat signal. The bat signal... Um, would be beamed in Gotham, but not New York City Gotham, other Gotham, fictional Gotham. Uh, this does look like Barnard. Gambler's calculations are odds. <clears throat> Blank Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady of Guadalupe. Uh, a a um, honorific of the Virgin Mary in, in uh, Catholicism, I suppose. Line at the top or bottom of a website. Line at the top or bottom of a website. Menu? Some sort of menu? I'm not seeing it offhand. Small wind instrument. Um, this looks like a fife, a little, a little wind instrument that is often played in a military band. Oh, here's this. 58 across between Lou and Bess. And that's pointing to 58 across. Michelle Obama or, oops, Michelle Obama or Jill Biden informally. Um, well, they were each first ladies, but I think it's notable that this is not saying formerly. So what are they still both? I could be wrong with that inference, but we'll just have to see. I'll come back to it once we have some crosses. Help up a slope. Um, this is a pretty common answer. I think it's going to be T-bar, um, <clears throat> a mechanism to get up a mountain to go skiing. Supporting. So if you're supporting something, you're for it. I'm for crosswords, generally. Line at the top or bottom of a website. Could it start with font, but that doesn't, I don't know what that would be on a website. Often frazzled comics character. Mm. This could be Kathy from new newspaper comics, certainly in the US. I don't know how international Kathy is. Who's always frazzled and screaming, ack. Let's try it and see. It was cool in the 90s. I don't know. Who am I to judge what's cool in the 90s or at any other time? Popular depilatory. I don't know what that's getting at. Busy body. With a question mark. Uh, let's keep looking. Search blind blindly. It could be to grope, to sort of grope, feel around in the dark. Let's look at the crosses here. Rampage. Um, it could be go something. 
go nuts or whatever. Um, could also be rampage as a noun. We don't know yet. Dwindle. I'm oh, not sure offhand. Strives to could be aims to or yens to. Would that work here? I'm not sure if that works. Help button. Hmm. Uh, let's just keep looking. Commuter's headache. Well, obviously the first thing that came to mind was traffic jam, but that's not going to work with Kathy, which may or may not be right. Could it end in traffic? I think it might because of the the theme. Let's talk about the theme. Um, so we have here we have Monster Mash, and we have the years 2003 and 1970. I think 1970 is considerably, well, no, I don't know. I was going to say that's too early for Monster Mash, but once again, I was thinking of Weird Science, not Monster Mash. What am I doing? Um, I don't know when the Monster Mash was released. Maybe, in fact, 1970 would be potentially too late for the Monster Mash. In any case, it certainly wasn't 2003. So we have two years, and we, all, we also have two words. So what could this mean? Similarly here, we have Wall Street and Crash. We have three words, but Wall Street is essentially one compound word in, in common usage. And then we have crash, and we have 1987 and 2004. And so what I think this is, <clears throat> the years are referring to the release dates of films that are named in the two halves of each clue. So the film Monster, released in 2003, uh, MASH, the uh, original film on which the television program was based, the Alan Alda, uh, sorry, the... Um, uh, Altman, Robert Altman movie, uh, 1970. Wall Street, 1987. Crash, 2004. And I think Traffic maybe came out in 2000. And this might be... This is maybe something to do with the Oscars, possibly. Did these movies win Oscars? I'm actually not sure about that, but that, that might be part of it. It might be won Oscars in this year. Maybe it's that rather than year of release. I'm not sure. Rank below Admiral. So a naval rank. Um, lieutenant? That seems, that seems too low to be right below an Admiral. Uh, so I'm not sure. Uh, seating section, it could be a tier, uh, as in an arena or a concert hall. Um, so search blindly could still be grope. Rank below Admiral. Ah, that would be PT, and that looks like Captain to me. Ah, and then this line at the bottom of a top or of a website is Contact Us. And then here we have Contact, 1997, and Us, 2019. Uh, both of those fit the theme. So, 58 across between Lou and Bess. Eleanor? Oh. Um, so it must be first lady because I think this is probably, so Lou and Bess are both given names and Eleanor is a given name. And so I think this must be referring to first ladies with those names and, um, oh, I see informally. So it's Flotus, first lady of the United States, um, paired with POTUS, the president of the United States. And so search blindly does look like grope. Uh, dwindle could be run out. Nope, it's not. That's also incorrect because running out is what would happen after having completed dwindling. Rampage, <clears throat> could we go wild? Mac versus PC and others. Um, that was an ad campaign. And this is plural because it's and others. It's going to end in S. Ad wars? Ad wars, maybe? Opposite of Norte. Uh, oh, is it Sud or Sur? Uh, Big Apple subway initials. Um, I think this is MTA, the Metropolitan Transit Agency? Uh, this does look like Ad Wars. 
dwindle, uh, run low, that, that, that's better. Email addenda for short. <clears throat> um, PSs as in postscripts, that's not really specific to email. Maybe it's something else. So-called godfather of the Teamsters, uh, Jimmy Hoffa. As depicted in Martin Scorsese's film, The Irishman, a couple years ago. All right, here we go. Editing, here's the theme. Editing device suggested by 1723, 33, and 46 across. Editing device. Um, film splice, maybe? We're splicing two films together? Film splicer, could it be? So I was reading device as a sort of technique or um, practice, but it could be device as the, the a mechanism or a machine that does this. Maybe a film splicer, could that be the case? To be bedridden, say, would be to, you. if you're ill, you're ailing, you at ail. Um, birthplace of Homo sapiens, uh, Africa. Cradle of life, I suppose, or human life anyway. Lead into sax, uh, alto sax is a range of saxophone, a um, sort of note range within, it, with, within which a certain saxophone can be played. Vegas Hotel and Casino that is the longtime host of the World Series of Poster, a uh, poker, sorry, World Series of Poster. Um, I don't know, it looks like Rio, There must that must be it. Um, request accompanying pu puppy dog eyes, maybe. Mm, can I, can I do another crossword puzzle, please? Highly respected. Like some glasses. Oh, bifocal. Um, glasses with two lenses. So depending on whether you're looking across or down through them, you have a different uh, lens prescription, I suppose. Invented by Benjamin Franklin, I believe, the bifocal lens. Busybody, um, B as in busy as a B. Help button. Could this be escape? I'm not really sure what this is getting at. Strives to. Oh, maybe it is aims, as I had guessed. And uh, if you are highly respected, you are eminent. I'm certainly not an eminent crossword solver, but I do my best. Uh, thrown material on Game of Thrones. Well, this must be iron because of Eminent. So, 1986 hit for Patti LaBelle and Michael McDonald. Um, I don't know a fan, but it looks like on my own, doesn't it? Uh, and then Commuter's Headache is Rush Hour Traffic. So we've got Rush Hour from 1998 and Traffic from 2000. And as, as great as Jackie Chan is in Rush Hour, I don't imagine that was a majorly Oscar-winning film. So maybe this is just movies in general. Okay, we probably haven't looked at all of the downs yet. What the NBA's Supersonics became in 2008, I don't know. Type of rice would be basmati rice, as used in Indian cuisine frequently. Blank Lankan would be Sri Lankan. Some celebrity sporting events. Um, I think this is pro-ams, as in professional amateur, so an event that involves both professionals and amateurs, I, I think was what that means. Uh, crossed met. When a horizontal answer meets a vertical answer, that is where they cross. Lovelace of early computing, this is Ada Lovelace. Um, yes, exactly, pioneer of uh, early programming of computers. And it was cool, uh, I see, it was cool in the 90s. This is fat, a, wor a word used to mean cool in the 1990s. Just let the jingle finish, and there we go. That's the Wednesday puzzle. Um, boy, I, I know I've said it a, probably about a dozen times, but we are in an era of themes. I do not remember in years past themes being so frequently deployed. And I suppose it must be the case that crossword constructors over time get um, more and more able as the craft sort of progresses and, and people who do this accrue more experience. There must be a, a sort of institutional... Um, raising of the of the bar um oh, there's a cat in here hello fluffy or cat sitting as i've mentioned before and i've been joined by a cat um 
So yeah, we've got many, many themes recently. What is it you want here? No? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and we've got a very good theme today with this uh, film splicer. Very clever. Rush hour, traffic, contact, us, Wall Street, crash, and monster mash. And monster mash and Wall Street crash even rhyme. The other ones don't. But I'm glad I read them in that order, so I concluded with a rhyme. Um, yeah, a really nice puzzle <clears throat> by Brandon Copy. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope everyone got the theme. It was probably fairly obvious, but I did want to um, hold on to it for a bit to, to let people spot it, because I thought it was a pretty fun one. Um, and did help, certainly helped with the solve. Uh, when I saw traffic, thinking about a commuter's headache, traffic did help place this and eventually... Um, allowed for a slightly easier to solve with uh, some of these crosses. So that's always nice. Um, I don't really know what this help button escape is getting at. I get that. I guess that means to break out of a piece of software if it's causing you trouble, but I don't really know that escape even does that particularly. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this solve. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, you should subscribe to it because then you will see these videos as they go up every morning. And uh, <clears throat> if you think the series it deserves word being spread, why not spread that word yourself to your friends or internet acquaintances who might also enjoy this sort of low-key, uh, I don't know, soothing content? I don't really know what this is, but I hope you enjoy it and you might have a friend who enjoys it as well. If you're particularly enjoying it and you would like to contribute towards the long-term sustainability of this practice as a part of my daily life, uh, you can do so by contributing just a couple of quid or a few bucks over at my coffee page, uh, which is linked below uh, each video in the description. And thank you again so much to everybody has done, who has done so. It is, It means a lot to me. It's extremely generous, and um, it, it does help keep this thing going, which I hope to do for a while. So, on that, thank you for joining me for this Wednesday puzzle. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow for the Thursday puzzle, which, as I say, I always think of as when the challenge does start to ramp up a bit more noticeably. And I hope you join me for that. I will see you there if you do. With that, have an excellent Wednesday. Take care.